Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be trying out career mode in Beam and G Drive. So if you don't know what that is, basically, you hop into Beam and G Drive, and instead of driving around doing your thing, you can actually have jobs and make money and stuff. As you can see here, I've done this before already, but it wasn't on recording, and I thought it'd be a really fun idea to show this to you guys. So we're going to actually go ahead and make a career mode for a series. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comments below, and if this video gets good uh, feedback, I will do more. Alright, so now we're loaded in. If we come over here to the dealership, we should get a couple of options for free cars to start off. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter to get into this. Yeah, we've got a choice between, I think this is a BMW. I'm, I'm going to fail this miserably. You know what? I'm not even going to try and guess the car making model. I know nothing about cars. I know a couple, but not much. So I'm actually going to go with the uh, 240BX because I like this car. I don't even need to inspect it or anything. I just know I like it. So we can actually see here how much it's going to cost. It's even got sales tax simulated, which I think is really cool for a game like BMG Drive. But uh, you can see the car making model here, how many miles it has on it. I assume that affects performance. I haven't tested that before yet. It's even got dealership fees. So we're going to go ahead and purchase the car now. And then uh, we can walk over to our car. Uh, it's F uh, to get in by default. Just for realism's sake, I'll open the door. And now we can start up our car for the very first time. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I kind of want to look under the hood to see what we're running. So, oh, yeah, I got to pop the hood. Let's do that. Let me in my car, please. Let me in my car. So go into interior cam. Then we can pop the trunk right there. I assume that's what that was. Yep, there we go. So I think it said we have a V8 in here, which this looks really good. This is a good looking engine. They're all modeled in BMG pretty good. I have model or mesh textures turned down a little bit for recording sake so my recording isn't crashing and stuff or this uh, frame rate smooth it looks choppy but that's just because I got motion blur going so let's actually hop in and get our first job if you see we cross the street over here it's the garage and we got to be careful not to hit other cars here because we don't want to do that because uh, if we damage our car we gotta pay to repair it so if we go up to this square right here we can go ahead and stop Blasco parking garage night parcels available 14 vehicle transports available so now if we inspect this we get this menu that pops up and this is essentially jobs we can take so we can deliver what is the spark plugs uh, the vehicle parts replacement wheels all that kind of stuff or it looks like we can take entire vehicles via trailer places but we don't actually have any cargo pieces in our truck or our car so we gotta go into the garage which this is gonna serve as our home base this area is kind of where we live where we go to take our where we go take uh sorry i can't speak where we go to get our car repaired and all that kind of stuff so we can get out we can go over to this little computer and this is where we can modify our car. So I'm going to go ahead and add some cargo boxes into our car. So now as you can see, we've got a sales tax, a subtotal, all that kind of stuff. So now we can purchase parts. And you can see we've got cargo boxes installed in our vehicle now. Oops. So now if we reverse out of here, don't hit anything. I'm a skilled driver, I promise. We can go back over to this piece right here. I don't even care about parking because I just want to get this done. We can now take stuff such as spare vehicle parts, oil filters, all that kind of stuff. So now we can see how much we're going to get paid for it, how long we have to take the job, and how far away it is, and the weight of it, obviously. And then also, as a bonus, how many slots? Oh, my cursor is not recording. Hang on one second. There we go, OBS is amazing, so I was able to enable my cursor while recording, so that's pretty cool. So anyways, we've got the time we have to take the job, we've got how far away it is, and if I hover over it, you can see on the map, it shows you, I wish I could point, you could see my fingers. And then we've got how much we'll get paid, the weight, and then the slots. So now we can see here how many slots we have, so our trunk has 4 slots each, and then our rear seat box is 16. So we're just going to go ahead and take the special vehicle parts. We're going to load that up and then it'll pop up here. We could fit two more things in. So I guess we'll just take tires and then bolts and screws because it's all going in similar spaces. Now that rear seat box is full. So now we can click automatic route and it should make us a route and this should take us everywhere. So now if we return to the game, oops, we can 
Now go into our cockpit view, it'll say active deliveries, and then we'll have a blue arrow to go to the job. So I'm going to drive over there, I'm probably going to time lapse it, and I'll see y'all when we get there. Alright, so here we are arriving at our very first delivery. If we pull here into the cargo bay, we can go ahead and park up. It oh, it looks like right here is where we drop it off. So we pull up, we stop. This is the exhaust shop, and now we should be able to deliver our stuff here. Does it automatically? I don't remember. So inspect, dump all cart. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not sure how we deliver this stuff. I don't think it did automatically. So return to game. Oh, right here. I see the drop. Oh, there goes my front bumper. I see the drop off point right there behind that wall. So now we pull out here onto the main road. Make sure we're not going to hit anyone. Now we go into this parking lot. And right here is the drop off area for where we can get rid of our cargo. So there's the tires. We can drop that off. We made $17, got 8 XP, 8 cargo XP, and 8 whatever that is. Uh, we can see we're leveling up, so I guess that's what that is. Those are the oil filters, so that's what we took. And so now we back out of here. And yeah, we've got our blue arrow again, so let's go to the next delivery spot. Here we are arriving at the second job, and uh, during the time lapse, you might notice that I'm kind of going through red lights. That's because when the light turns green, the AI doesn't go for some reason. I think it's just a BeamNG AI bug, so I will have to go around those sometimes. But there we go, we just delivered the special vehicle part, so we made another $83, or $81. Now we have $5,500. So now we can just turn around and go to the last delivery, and then uh, I think it's time for some car upgrades. Here we are at the third destination, ran through a couple of red lights, and this is actually a car dealership, I know this from previous playthroughs. I, I haven't really played Courier much, but I do know this is a dealership. So we're gonna go ahead and drop off this, uh, we can now get 20 bucks, pretty much, and we can pick up a new job. And since I want to do some car upgrades, I'm gonna try and get a job that goes back to our garage. So it looks like engine parts here does go back, so we're gonna load that up. Maybe get a stop on the way. This one also, windshield wipers, this one also goes to the Belasco garage. We're going to pick that up. Belasco Auto, uh, that's really close to us, so maybe we could take that real quick. It's only $2, though. It's not worth it. That goes all the way to the island. Definitely don't want that. So we're just going to automatic route, and now we're going to go back to the garage and do some modifications to our car because it's looking kind of bland right now, and it's kind of looking like a stale green bean, if you know what I mean, so... So here we are at the first delivery of two, behind that stupid slow minivan, that thing was ridiculous, made sure to lay my horn on him. So we're gonna deliver our, what is this, engine parts, made 80 bucks, easy $80. That's gonna pay for a tiny, tiny portion of the upgrades I wanna do to my vehicle. So we're gonna try and cross this busy intersection, don't get hit, don't get T-bone, please. Now we can deliver this next bit. And actually, I've been doing that same intersection thing with the red lights since the AI's bugged. So every time, I'm just going to run through the red lights and pray I don't get T-boned by a rogue AI. So now, uh, we're going to pull into the repair shop and see what we can do to our car. Okay. 
Okay, so I pretty through ran th pretty much ran through my entire budget. I've only got like a hundred dollars left, but I did a couple upgrades. Not only to how this car looks, it looks absolutely outstanding. I won't lie. That might even be my thumbnail picture. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail picture. <laughs> that that's a really good picture. I think I'm gonna keep that for thumbnail. Uh, yes, go away. So now we're gonna take like one or two more cargo loads, and then we're gonna end off this video because it's getting kind of long. I'm. I already think this video is going to be around 10-ish minutes, maybe not that long, but it's gonna it's getting up there. And uh, I, storage doesn't grow on trees, okay? My hard drive isn't massive yet. So we're going to see what we can take. We're going to go for big money. That's going to the island. I really don't want to drive there. This is literally going across the street, so how can we not take that wiper fluid? This is going into the city. Is there a lot going into the city? So we can take this one. And this one into the city and that fills up one of like four trunk boxes we have so we're gonna automatic route that then we're gonna exit Oop. then we're gonna go across the street and maybe they'll have some deliveries for us over there too so we're gonna try not to oh my god I almost just died I don't have money to repair this car and I didn't get insurance I forgot to buy that I'm too broke okay uh, drop off this get 89 cents amazing now let's see what we can get here uh anything going into the city yep that's going into the city so we're gonna pick up that job that is two that is two that is two i think oops i didn't mean to pick that up that's going to belasco garage whatever then automatic route it looks like we're gonna get a couple hundred bucks maybe maybe about 150 bucks not quite a couple hundred but it works you know it works don't get T-boned, don't get T-boned, don't get T-boned, don't get T-boned, don't get T-boned. There we go. Made it across. We're gonna have to upgrade the brakes in this car because I noticed that they're not working very well. Drop off that for an entire dollar. Now we're gonna pray we don't get T-boned again because we just keep running stop signs. We're not getting tickets, so it doesn't matter. Whew, that was close. Oh, and I forgot to say, I got a sport exhaust, so this car is gonna sound really good. Yeah, it sounds really good. I hope y'all can hear that well. So I guess just cut to another time lapse and we're gonna go deliver some packages. Also, I forgot, I was I'm already here and I must say not only did I get like a hundred near misses. Oh my god. Oh my god uh, That was a lot more fun driving fast when I've got something to lose because uh, There's like a risk factor to it. So that's some good money That's a hundred bucks and quite a bit of XP. I'm not exactly sure what happens when I level up if y'all know Let me know in the comments uh, We're gonna pop over next door. We get another delivery here Make sure we're not gonna die because I can't afford to replace my car right now so very careful now driving in the city streets i say as i almost drifted around the oh my god i almost hit that corner really doesn't count hmm well, i'm pretty sure i'm in that box not sure why you're giving me problems because you know it's not nice to give people problems thank you uh 65 dollars and that's actually all of it so we're gonna see if we can get one back to the garage belasco auto okay that's across the city Corey Side Auto, that is literally right next to our garage, so we're just gonna take that, and we're gonna be happy. So, I'm just gonna quickly deliver this, probably just cut the video because time lapses are boring, I know. Can't cross this busy intersection. Got a little bit of wheel spin there, I think. I'm not 100% sure if this car's capable of that, not sure it has the horsepower, but we tried anyways, and I forgot to calculate a route, so I'm just gonna go on my own. Definitely a little bit of street side donut. Don't get hit by the car coming up behind us. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm just going to try and remember how to get back because I'm not sure I do. I think I do because I just did it. But I'm going to hope I got it right. Wow, this car is really loud. Oh, 
that was a bit risky. Well, we risk it for the biscuit, you know? Uh, and actually, since we're here at a dealership, I think after I deliver this, I'm gonna check out the cars we can get, and that's for sale, and then we can work towards the next video. So, we're just gonna drop that off for 20 bucks. Now we're gonna get out of our car, leave it running, burn some gasoline money, and I forgot to say one thing. You do have to buy gas in career mode, so that's fun. And it does cost money. Lots of money. So it looks like this dealership has Crown Vicks, old cars, a minivan, and taxis. So there's nothing good at this dealership, but possibly others. And since we're right here, we're going to go ahead and see if there's any kind of delivery just across to the garage. So we can make a quick buck, because I've noticed that there's been a couple of those. So inspect, we're going to... It's a Belasco garage or something. And no, it doesn't look like there is. Anyways, I think that's going to do it all for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It really helps me. And if you want to see more of this, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.